So when I began the print making class, it turned out to be a lot easier than I had first expected. However, the process of, you know, creating a print is, you know, twice as long or even 10 times as long as I'm usually used to. For example, like the one right here was a 13 layer stencil and the time that it had took me to cut out the stencils was maybe a day, day and a half. And then just going on and spray painting and printing was probably like maybe a couple hours. So the one that I'm cutting right now, it was a three week project because I had first drawn it onto a piece of paper, hoping that it can transfer over to the linoleum pretty cleanly, but it didn't. So then I had to draw it onto the linoleum itself and then cut it out, which was another week or two weeks. But overall, it was a very fun and stress relieving project. So with this piece, I did try to bring in different cultures because I know that femicide isn't only a thing that's happening within Mexico's borders, it's happening all around the world. And I did bring in symbolism, representing women, representing royalty, representing Memento Mori. This is how the piece turned out and I do plan on selling them as prints. The comic book was probably my most biggest project regarding drawing um, consistently and since I had never really done that before and I wasn't really used to it, of course, you know, with any other big project, people get tired, people get stressed and that's kind of just what had happened to me. I didn't want to, you know, work on it. I didn't want to focus on it. Prior to that, I had worked on many amazing projects. I was an assistant director for a music video, I worked on a commercial, and I had worked on some local artist interviews. So with the comic book, not that it was an idea that I had for quite some time, but there were just two small topics that I had wanted to bring to life. Um, one being Greek mythology and the other being alternate dimensions and, you know, alternate dimensions is something that, you know, we have found today that are real. And I had also wanted to bring my original characters to life. I had built them over time and I finally created, you know, who they are now. And along with that, I just said, let's do it. Let's go. Let's let's get it done. Uh, this project was supposed to be an eight page. It was a minimum of eight pages. And I had wrote a script as if I were writing a movie and it turned out to be 13 pages. And I know I was like, if I'm going to draw this out, it's going to be a little bit longer than 13 pages. It turned out to be 45. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the comic book would have to be the river of souls you know going into the underworld with that i didn't want them to look scary nor cute so i had gathered inspiration from studio ghibli films 
um, because I feel like they depicted their monsters in a very not scary, more like enticing way. And from then on out, I dove into the comic headfirst. This is how the panel had looked like at first, when I had first drawn it. Um, it doesn't make sense. I had a few friends laugh at me because they didn't understand what was going on. So I had told them, as long as it makes sense to me, that's all that matters here, people. Because what you're going to be reading is the final product, not my sketchbook. <laughs> so yeah. I really enjoyed this project. I really do plan on continuing the series because I did flesh out a world and I did flesh out the characters and I left it at a really good cliffhanger. So I want my readers to either email me, DM me, text me, just saying, why? Why did you have to do this to me? And I'll just tell them, I just wanted to give you a little bit of spice. Here's the final page. This is how it turned out. So this was my final printmaking project for the semester. Just kind of labeling them because it's a, it's a two color linoleum print. And I planned ahead and I decided to make one for Valentine's Day. And this is Vin from the comic book. I was just like, you know what, if I'm going to make a comic book, like might as well make merchandise or like some other stuff kind of representing that and just continuing that because like I said, it was very fun. So yeah, that's it. I'll just kind of leave you guys with the rest of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna stop talking. Oh, by the way, let me, let me, let me explain what's going on here. You might think that I'm covering up the drawing. I'm not. Um, this is just to kind of stain the linoleum block. That way when I cut through it, you know, you can kind of see where I cut pretty much what I'm cutting off is what's going to be white and everything that's going to be left there is what's going to be printed. So pretty much in this print, his skin is going to be the color white, his outline, his shading, and his hair, they're all going to be black. Uh, and on the other piece, that's going to be red. Usually you would try and stain the block before you start drawing on it. However, I was a little too eager to get this print done because it was to the next day. So I had like stained over it, which it really didn't do much. Here I am just hand cutting um, actually all of the pages that you had seen in the books prior because I don't know if you saw the little white pieces those were just the extra pieces of paper that were sticking out from the cover book because I didn't want to waste that black paper so I had to go in and just basically recut everything
Another aspect of the comic books that really hold dear to my heart would have to be the fact that it's just handmade. I binded these books by myself. <laughs> um, you know, my dad wanted to help me, but I was like, no, it's fine. Like, I'll do it myself. I want this to be a project that's basically just me. Like, I, I did this. I did that with the help of my friend Alec, who let me borrow his iPad. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this was very fun. You know, I got to go in, punch the holes, thread through it. Sometimes the thread would break. And this had really pushed me to put my art out there and sell my work because I've been drawing, you know, since I was in eighth grade and I haven't really, you know, stuck and set my foot down to, you know, go out and sell my work. So I wanted to be able to just market my things like I had done with this book because it's really fun. And, you know, you, once it's all done and out there, you know, you get to sit down and realize like, dang, I really put all this time and effort into something that I really love and I want to keep doing more. And that became the milestone of this year that I faced that I was once afraid of. 